I'm Paul Bellini, and I've been asked to speak about Thanksgiving. And my first reaction was, I don't, I don't fucking care. But I did a little research on Wikipedia, and here's what I found out. I'll share my knowledge. So Thanksgiving is this holiday, uh, which we presumably celebrate the harvest, because, you know, in the day and age of GMOs, it's good to remind ourselves that most vegetables are grown in soil and that they're good for you. Um, but uh, it's also a time to decorate with autumn leaves and gourds and, and pumpkins and squash and things that you would normally just throw away. Now in Canada, the first Thanksgiving can be traced back to 1578. Uh, the explorer Martin Frobisher had been trying to find a Northwest Passage. Um, to the Pacific Ocean, and, and he held the Thanksgiving celebration not in thanks of a harvest, but thanks for surviving a long journey through, you know, storms and icebergs and frozen horrible weather. So the first Thanksgiving in Canada was thanking nature for not killing us. Um, then the official first Thanksgiving Day was actually held April 15th, 1872. Why? The nation was celebrating because the Prince of Wales had a speedy recovery from a terrible illness. Isn't that nice? The whole country. Thank you, the Prince is feeling much better. Uh, it's time for all of you to eat turkey. <clears throat> Anyway, the Americans, they've got it all planned out, okay, so uh, their Thanksgiving is held on a Thursday, which means you get the Friday off. It's brilliant. That Friday has come to be known as Black Friday, not because it's evil or anything, but because that's when all the big stores put all their big ticket items on sale for super cheap, thereby kicking off the Christmas spending season, which is about six to eight weeks long. Genius. Um... The Americans also started all the turkey stuff. you got to ask yourself, why turkey? Why not duck? Uh, anyway, who knows? Maybe somebody just had a whole bunch of turkeys lying around and it was time to eat them. I don't know. But every year, since George W. Bush, no, no, pardon me, no, Bush Sr., presidents have been selecting a turkey to pardon in other words, they spare his life, and that turkey is free to live out the rest of his natural days on a farm. Isn't that amazing that the American president has enough time to pardon a turkey? They uh, could show a little more mercy maybe towards the thousands of people who are in prison for smoking pot. That might be nice. And pardon a turkey. I don't know. Anyway... If Thanksgiving means anything to me, it's food. <laughs> Turkey, I can take or leave, let's be honest. But my God, I love all the stuff around it. I love gravy and stuffing and, oh, cranberries. That, to me, is the best because it's like dessert. It's dessert that you eat with your regular meal. And then, of course, the other Thanksgiving tradition, which is immediately unbuttoning your pants after the meal. Why do we need... Thanksgiving. I mean, do we really need to thank the land for a bountiful harvest? Do we need to thank God for making the Prince of Wales better or for the winter for not killing us? No. I mean, Thanksgiving is mostly meaningless. It's a holiday plopped in the middle of October or November, depending on what side of the border you live on. But occasionally we do need to give thanks, you know, for things like just for being alive or not dying for being healthy or being loved. And, but, you know, unfortunately, most of us are just like teenagers. We just take all that shit for granted. Anyway...